sky Watching stars align Mesa making sweet honey Melissa lemon balm Nights as warm as your breath On my chest so calm What I said, you go there, what was it?
social media friend. His name is Leslie. And Leslie has a fabulous voice. Um, I was upstairs and I heard this voice just ringing throughout the house. And I said, you know, there's more to this social media friend than just uh, being a social media friend coming to visit. We're in the Gambia right now. You're in a band. Yeah. Ah. I mean, two bands. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, one that I'm in permanently and one that I get invited to come and play with every mm -hmm. so often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's fabulous. Mm. You're from the UK. Yeah. Where? I come from a small town near to the coast called Ashford in Kent, which is close to Canterbury. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was raised and went to school there, where I first became interested in music through the church when I was very small. And my father was a lay preacher in the church, so we really? had a lot to do with church stuff. Uh -huh. And uh, also played violin in the school orchestra and also in the, later in the Kent Youth Orchestra. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then on from then, I became sociable with other musicians locally and formed several small groups around the late sixties and early seventies in around my area, and that's where I kind of started playing Americana, which is my favourite sort of music really, because mm -hmm. it, it represents music from all over the world, the, it's a big melting pot of music from everywhere and uh, you know I grew up with great music from the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s and then later into the 70s. So a lot of traditional blues music. In the UK? Um, well, mainly my main interest was in Americana music. Okay. You know, American Appalachian Mountain music mm -hmm. and other forms of music that was introduced into America, some from Africa, from the slave days and mm -hmm. also from, you know, working in the fields down in the south. So a lot of my influences are from artists from that part of the world, you know, New Orleans Soul music. and yeah, down south. Mm. And also <coughs> French, because my mother's French, I have an interest in uh, uh, sort of Cajun music and mm -hmm. music with the piano accordion music, mm -hmm. but in a rock and roll style. Have you been to the... I haven't been. I, I must go. You haven't been to the I've United States? I've never been to the United States. Oh my goodness, but you love the music. I love the music. <laughs> I just I just feel that I've been the best players in the world uh -huh. are in America, uh -huh. without a doubt. They're some uh -huh. of the great players. Uh, some that you've never even heard of, uh, mm -hmm. much better than the ones that you have that heard you of. Have, yeah. um, I was just listening the other day to a guy and uh, it just blew my, blew my mind, you know, how fantastic some of these musicians are. And just scraping a living, making a bit of music, making some film music, because that kind of music lends itself well to film music from that part of the world. Um, I suppose my uh, fa favourite person, if I had to name one, from that part of the world would be Rai Kuda. Mm. Uh, you know, he's influenced me a great deal. And I enjoyed his growth in music and he's still growing and getting better all the time as he gets older. How was the festival in Ganjo? Yeah, the yeah, festival, yeah. we went to the uh, local cultural festival down in yeah. Gunja, which was fantastic. Uh, uh, there was some fantastic dancing and fantastic drumming and uh, the traditional crazy stuff, you know, it was so <laughs> crazy. Uh, I mean, 
it, you know, this, there was a, it's, it was like a, a pageant of good and evil. You've got the villagers coming out and taunting the, the, the evil one, you know, who was dressed up with long, tassely uh. grass and, and reedy costume and was swirling in the dust and oh it was just too much it was excellent to watch which I made a small film of that on my phone so hopefully I'll be able to get something out of that when, when I get back home. Um, we'll Edith. show you a little clip from um, what he saw it'll be after this interview but uh, do you come every year? I come pretty much every year. Yeah, I've been coming to the Gambia every year for the last four years. Um, I just came here because I wanted to go somewhere warm uh, in the winter in England. It's just unbearably cold and uh, not my cup of tea at all. So, and, and things get quite, you get not so much work in the winter, everything dies down, everybody's you don't see people because they're hibernating, mm -hmm. waiting for the weather to come good again. Mm -hmm. And the music sort of slows to a little trickle. So it's always a good time of the year to come to the Gambia in November, just before Christmas. And uh, New Year's very good here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, will you be playing at another festival or...? Um, I'm. I just, I'm just me going to see friends this time and uh, basically moving around tr trying to learn as much as I can about this country because I think it's a very good base in Africa due to it being very friendly and safe, generally speaking. I've had no trouble myself, not with the people. The police are a little bit overzealous at times, I think. <laughs> But if you stay on the right side of the law, you'll be okay in the Gambia. And, uh, and if you ever want to come to Africa, it's a good place to start, I think. And uh, I've got a lot of friends here, so I'm, I'm part Gambian now. <laughs> I have a little a girlfriend from the Gambia, and she has a, a large extended family. So I get a bit confused about who's who in the Gambia. Everybody seems to be related to everybody else, or everybody's sister or brother. Pretty tight knit. And it's tight knit, so you have to be careful what you say to whoever you say it to, because someone will know somebody that will be offended. So you have to be mind your p's and q's, and uh, you won't go far wrong. And also, don't make promises to people that you can't keep. That's the number one thing I'd say because people take these things quite seriously. And, uh, but there's a lot of good music here in the Gambia if you want to come here. Got a great drumming, great drumming. Some of the best drumming I've ever heard anywhere in the world. We also have great chora players who are just fantastic to listen to and singers too. And all sorts of wonderful dancing and there's just so much cultural stuff to see and enjoy. And if you want modern Indian music, there's plenty of that too. Oh yeah, they, uh, the nightlife here is pretty extensive as well. Mm. Um, goes on past 2 a.m., <laughs> sometimes 3 or 4, mm. which, is, which is nice. I didn't mean to interrupt your entire lunch. Um, we're having lunch, you see there. <laughs> I should say brunch. Yeah. But, um, Thank you for talking to us. Um, at some point, we're going to hear that beautiful voice while you're here, yeah. my uh, social media friend, <laughs> Leslie. Okay. Anyway, thank you, and you're welcome. <laughs>